Hey everybody, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love Tarot. Today's topic is a collective read, so take it how it resonates. If it resonates, if it's your story. If it isn't, you can always check out my playlist. You can always feel free to book a personal reading with me. All of that information will be down below in the description box only, along with links to uh, purchase my Oracle decks, purchase merch from me, uh, just support the channel, uh, join my Patreon, any and everything I gotta do with Live, Laugh, Love Tarot. Okay, so remember that this reading could play out past, present, or future, okay? Because that's what's here it reveals. So take it how it resonates, if it resonates for you, okay? So look, this is like if you just got that gut feeling like, hmm, something ain't the fuck right. You know what I'm saying? So what's not right? What's going on with my collective? Please and thank you. I want to know what can't my collective see right now? What you can see is something has been uh, moving forward behind the scenes for your collective. It may have taken a long time to come in. Oh, shit. Oh, let me get one more before I get to talking. You got somebody in your energy collective, okay? Let's check the bottom deck. Yeah. Somebody, you like, fuck it. You know what? You don't want to give me what I deserve? You want to take all damn day? You know, you could be a male or a female, but, you know, I'm doing my girl voice because, shit, I'm a girl. But, you know, it's like, well, you want to take all day to be in my energy? You want to decide? You know, you want to be so... This is somebody that's real methodical. Is that the word? Like, real meticulous. Like, always got... Like, this person be in a head a lot, too. And it's like they just want everything to be perfect. But at the same time, they took too damn long. They could be an earth sign, could have that somewhere in their chart. But what you can't see right now is that they've been obsessing the fuck over your ass collective. So bad they can't even sleep at night. This person is so fearful. Like, oh shit, the collective didn't cut me the fuck off? You know, that's the type of energy and they want to resurrect something. Yeah, you cut this person off because you thought they was being a hoe. In and out of your energy. Couldn't, oh, third party energy. Oh my God. This person was being a hoe. That's why they was in their head. That's why they was taking all day. That's what you can't see. But yet, they're holding the fuck on to your ass. Mm. Okay, okay. Yeah, tower moment I see here. Can you clarify? Give us a little bit more clarity here, divine, please, and thank you. So, to clarify, yeah. Because this mother taking all damn day. They done probably lost their shot. They done lost their shot with you, possibly. It's like you all had unfinished business. Mm -hmm. What's down here, what just flipped down here, was the King of Wands in reverse. Let me grab this. Yeah, King of Wands in reverse. So it's like this person is obsessing over the way that they was fucking acting. Their ways. They know why they was in and out of your life. What's at the bottom deck? King of Pentacles. They was... Uh, it's like when this person not being toxic, they want to offer something. But shit, they could have offered that to the wrong person or to the person that they don't want to be with no more. Because they all in your energy, obsessing over you. Because maybe they was toxic to you. See, justice. Karma tagging that ass. That's what you can't see right now. Queen of Pentacles, you coming out on top. They seeing you as abundant, fertile. You single, looking good, smelling good. This person about to... Rush the fuck in. <laughs> I see. I saw the knight of uh, the knight of swords finna rush the fuck in. That's what they finna do. Let me get uh, some you can't see right now. Let's whip another deck out real quick. Just before I go to the next question, I want to know what can't my collective see right now about this person? That's trying to come back in their energy that took all damn day. What what can't my collective see when it comes to them? Please and thank you. Mm, that they've been working on themselves. They've been hitting the gym trying to get their body right. They trying to come right. They saying collective out here looking good as hell. They like, uh-uh. Let me call ahead and get right before I approach the collective. Mm, but this person is... Oh, been being reckless, nasty, been being ratchet. They have some type of toxicities about them, you know, but yet, bae. They trying to act like you bae, and they bae. 
This person is trying to come back around and wear a fucking mask. Sorry, not sorry. What I did wasn't wrong. Like, this motherfucker finna come out around acting like... See, they're trying to find a different approach towards you. They finna come around acting like they the shit. Like, mm, you know, trying to look good, smell good, match your energy. Whole time, they... It's a... It's a humble brag yeah it do it do maybe they gonna come around doing the damn thing but they still a little turnt you know and uh i don't know if that's something that you want to deal with okay i don't even know if this person is fully dealing with the situation at hand see they ain't got no fucking chill that's the problem collective i don't from the energy i'm pulling i don't know if you want to be around that type of energy I mean, that's just what I'm saying. Yeah, that this person is really turned. They do got a lot of side hustles. If you was worried about like, do this person got money? Are they trying to use me? They're trying to, um, I don't think that it's they're trying to. I feel like they stalking you collectively. They're watching you. They're seeing you some type of way. And it's like, they know that you may even swerve their ass. For real. I'll pull one more. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They know that it's around a time where you could have even found out something about them or you might fend to. But what you can't see right now is that this person trying to get themselves right so that they can approach you so that you can even get their ass the time of fucking day. Okay? Because I feel like this is the type of person whereas um, they fucked up something with you. Okay? I want to know, what is your gut feeling telling you, though, collective? What is my collective's gut feeling telling them, you know? Like, what's your gut feeling about this? Mm -hmm. I feel like you feel like you're just not going to get everything out of the situation, possibly. See? That's what I'm saying. Like, you feel like, deep down inside, your gut feeling is telling you that you're just going to be upset. You're not going to get everything that it is that you want to get out of this relationship, okay? It's like your gut feeling telling you to stay fucking single. <laughs> hey, pay attention to that, okay? Maybe it's something that you just want to fix within yourself a little bit more. You could even be an earth angel if you've been hearing that, you know? And it's just like you can balance things out within yourself in order to, you know, heal, right to get out of this ten of swords energy you don't need anybody else to help you heal the um collective i feel like the divine is trying to offer you some type of opportunity it's like you've been manifesting yeah there is that divine feminine energy so a lot of you all could be in this divine feminine energy it's like you you want this stability and you're attracting this stability through healing yourself. It's like your divine feminine energy is very healed and is bringing things in for you. Manifestation. Okay. Where you thought like you were lacking at one point before. It's even bringing in other motherfuckers. <laughs> Masculine energies into your energy. Okay. But it's like your action oriented energy. It was a soldier. It went out and was creative and found creative ways to overcome obstacles. And you initially were able to, you know, heal within, right? But it's like when you embody that energy, you moths to a fucking flame, right? And your gut feeling, what you, what should you do? You know, what, what's your gut feeling telling you? Yeah, that you don't need to, you know, delve into any more toxicities that you know that this person is fucking toxic. Look, they want to show that. That you need to keep your options open. And you need to have strength. And you need to study situations before you get yourself into them, right? To optimize the outcome that you want a victory and success. You're coming in as the queen of wands as well. You have heavy fire in your chart. Could possibly sun, moon, or rising. Or somewhere within your birth chart. Or the person that you're leaving does. But I feel like you have a lot of strength. And this strength in turn... It's like, yeah, this could be someone from your past. But I feel like this is your past, collective. This is you going to your inner child and healing that inner child so that you can take a leap of faith. Right? A lot of you all don't want to be feeling like the fool when working together with someone. But I see that uh, you will open back up uh, projects that you have worked on, though. It's like your, um, your gut feeling is telling you to study situations 
but also it's telling you to uh, go within and heal your inner self. And then it's like uh, a lot of other things are there to offer. See, it's like some hidden things. Like you have some intuitive abilities there as well. Yeah, Queen of Wands, again, it's just something about you, Collective, and this feminine energy that uh, I feel like even you are starting to figure out more about yourself. But it's like your gut feeling is telling you like, oh, don't worry about this. Don't worry about a relationship. Don't worry about who's in your energy. Go within and worry about this mystery around your heritage or worry about this mystery around what it is that you really want to do for a living. What are you good at? You know, things like that. That's what your gut feeling is telling you. It's telling you like, man, focus on these things that are going to bring you the stability that you want. Okay. Heal those things within your feminine energy so that you can attract what it is that you want. Right. Yeah. Breadcrumbing. Avoid making any real effort. Like, it's like motherfuckers finna try to breadcrumb you. You're not going to get everything that you feel like you can give yourself from someone else. Okay. Keeping one's options open, mind games, and non-committal. Mind ain't gonna do shit but breadcrumb you. That's what you feel. Go with what the fuck you feeling, right? Yeah, Insta famous. It's like shit. A lot of people actually look up to you, collector. A lot of people think you're beautiful, handsome. You know, it's like you really got a lot to offer. Why don't you delve into that? Things about you. Because it's like so many people want to know about you. So many people are inspired by you. Shit, you could even get paid off this. See, I feel like the divine is trying to edge you towards, like, egg you towards this moment in your life that builds stability. You know, look, they gonna kill every any and everything that don't serve you. They gonna flatline that shit. Relationships and situations is dying. And you gotta let their ass go, collective, because everybody can't come with you. Okay? You are the prize here. Okay? See, humble brag. This humble brag is about you because you're blessed. See, I can't make this up. You out here trying to, no, but people, I don't want people to see me. I don't want, you know, like, no, but you're probably meant to be in the public eye, right? Some type of way you need to delve into who it is that you want, collective, because it, it's going to make you stable. It's going to make you profitable. Like, you're going to make some money. You know, you may have deals, uh, signing with people, all type of stuff. So, yeah, following your intuition. Now, nobody got shit to offer right now. I want to know a message from my collective's higher self before we close out this read. What's a message from the collective's higher self, please and thank you? Okay, it's talking about betrayal. So, let's see. Mm, a message from your higher self is like, don't get caught up in your head. Right now, you're meant to be doing something collective. See the hermit? You have a new beginning that awaits you. Yeah. And then the lovers is going to come. See, the thing about it is, is why you're being egged, like pushed into a certain direction because it's like whatever you go and create collective, because the queen of wands and the king of wands, those are creators that very creative and passionate about what it is that they do what they do for work it's like collective you're about to go do something in work but it's something that has to do with you personally you need to come out of your head about any betrayals or anything like that being in your head things that will hold you back you need to go within it's something here that you need to heal this is virgo energy as well i see a lot of air here as well you could be uh an air sign i'm getting the heavy libra sun moon horizon um but it's definitely saying that you have this new beginning. And then when you usher in this new beginning, then you'll have your choice in love. It's something like the two of those are tied in together. It's all about the things that you want, that you're standing your ground. You're studying the situation, right? You're studying what broke your heart before. At least that's what your higher self wants you to do. Because they want you to have a healthy ten of cups. It's like, yeah, we're going to give you this nine of cup first. And you're going to go ahead and continue to learn lessons. And you're going to go ahead and study. You know, you're going to gain these nine of cups first. Yeah, because we saw the nine of cups in here. And that's going to lead you to the ten of cups. But it's going to be through your own experience. It's going to be what you learn, what you decide, right? That's good and bad. What you decide what it is that you want. 
your higher self really wants you to heal that okay so that you can clearly decide what it is that you want because it's like you have a higher purpose here it's like north node energy yeah here you are coming in that feminine energy there it's like they don't want your emotions to get caught up you know because you need to use your emotions and your intuitions for other fucking things you can't just keep adding stuff adding and adding and expect to get all of these things done adequately and by adequately and things i mean like your intuition is already got its hands full how can it have enough time to sort out the real fucking shit you need to use it for you're gonna need you're gonna rely on your intuition very heavily collective so clear out the other junk shit you don't need to be worrying about like betrayals and shit that had you in your head you're not gonna have that type of stuff around see this is you the star intuition queen of cups following your inner light following your inner knowledge your intuition and coming out is the fucking star that's that it's the famous energy because once you embody your true energy yourself right that's what you're going to be working on once you embody that people are going to want to follow you people are going to be inspired by you collective and it's going to come in fast after you do this work contracts agreements look queen of wands this is meant for you collective two of cups right behind it comes because of your hard work this is what you're attracting in your feminine energy i see you both masculine and feminine going back and forth here okay so take it how it resonates you can be in either energy that feminine is that energy where you're you did the work as the masculine the action oriented and now you're sitting back ushering in bringing in manifesting in just like the womb right the baby is placed in the womb, fertilized by the masculine, right? And then the feminine births it. When you're the feminine, you're birthing this into reality, okay? Everybody does this. See, there's that stability. You could even be meeting like a twin flame. It's like, ain't no more of this. Feel like you need to have this in order to get this? No, that's over with. That's done with, okay? You're going to be single. You're going to be abundant. That's nine fucking pinnacles right there. And then you're going to have more victory on top of that. And then you're going to go back within yourself and you're going to heal more, right? Heal more again. You could be a Scorpio. You could be a Sagittarius. Moving forward. Look, it's like there are going to always be lessons here, collective. As you get to a higher stage, there's going to be a higher boss, right? And see, we see a King of Cups here. And yeah, this could be somebody else in your energy. But this is about your ass, collect. You're not going to go out playing no games. You're not going to go out blocking that heart chakra off, right? Are you? No, you're not. Because this is what you learned. Okay? Not third-party energy. No. What you're going to learn. Okay? Well, some of you shit, it may make you happy to have more than one person. Okay? You may have options. You may choose to do that. That's going to be on you. Shit. Some of y'all may. But that's what I'm saying. To me, that's the toxic energy, right? Unless you're fully dead in this, you're not going to fully get this. You see how it's upside down and then we see the Six of Swords still here? Because you're always going to be redirected back. Redirected back. Redirected back, okay? To have the new beginning, to take the full energy, all right? That's what your higher self is trying to tell you. It's a lot of divine fans watching. I know, I know. Let me get the overall energy of this read. What's the main thing that my collector needs to know? Please and thank you. Oh, we got two messages. Yeah, because you have like a soul connection with someone. Um, but I feel like you do definitely uh, have ties to the spiritual realm. Uh, definitely occult things here. Uh, take it how it resonates for you, but definitely tied to the source, definitely intuitive, definitely, uh, I feel like you're going to be unlocking spiritual gifts as well as you delve deeper within yourself and you find out who the fuck you really are, okay? And then we have, I have found the one my soul loves. That's what I'm saying, like, collective, you're going to find the person you love, the person you want, okay? But remember that the hottest love has the coldest end. All right. When you thought you was in love and you thought, you know, like these people would give you these things and you had hot passion for them. It burned right the fuck out. 
This is not about that. This is about longevity. The partner that is going to find you, the partner that you're deeply seeking, that will be most beneficial for you. They're going to come in a time when you have figured out who the fuck you are. Okay? And you're actively doing something. All right? And I mean, like you're doing something like acting on who you are because your career is going to be around who you are. Okay? Maybe you're not going to have a regular nine to fucking five. See? Life is great. Life is a great big canvas. Okay? Throw all the paint on it. You can. You're going to be doing a lot of shit. Right? You are moving onto a steady and reliable path. I can't make it up. I'm just the reader. But look, it says, don't be afraid of losing someone who doesn't want you. Collectives, trigger warning. But hey, you know, I got to be honest here. I got to tell you the truth. Because I'm just the messenger. I got to do my fucking job too. And now you know your job. And that's getting to know yourself, right? Making the career around who you are. And then bam, there come your soulmate. And the rest of your fucking life. So, if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. If you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. You know I thank y'all so much for the love, support, tips, and donations to this channel. And to the end, peace and love.